Hi, I'm Jeremy, and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we're going to be looking at an install of Dafile, which is an alternative to VortexBox. It allows you to rip CDs and have the files available on your network for your streaming pleasure. Let's get started. All right, so we'll go ahead and launch our install from VirtualBox. And once we get this going, we'll head over to the web page and take a look. All right, we need to do escape to exit. So this is going to be true to the appliance type of Linux install. And already it's telling us to go to the web address, which is 178. So we'll come back to the website, but let's check out what they're giving us for this. So this is booted off the ISO image for our virtual box install. Uh, this is based on squeeze server, I believe it's called. Uh, has a CD ripper. Obviously, being a virtual machine, I don't have an optical drive hooked up. Not a physical one, anyways. Got a file manager utility settings. And here we go system firmware, select the Select installation target drive. We are going to do this. BIOS, MS DOS, configure system settings. We'll say install. Kind of interesting that it's letting you do everything right from the web interface. And let's see. System name we'll leave alone. Media server. Internal. File server enable. And we are US Michigan. Let's just set our audio devices, which I'm going to leave that alone. E bindings. CD ripping, black compression, networking, power, very nice, storage, and we'll just save our settings. Installation is successfully completed. OK. Go to info. Sunday, July 7th. Kernel version 4.19. And I have a suspicion that they rolled their own distribution, but I have not been able to confirm that. There doesn't seem to be any information on their website saying that it's based on Ubuntu or CentOS or something like that. Shut down. I want to remove the ISO from the virtual machine and make sure we're still able to start this up. And we will see here. So far, so good. And we should be up and going here in just a moment. Jump back to our browser. And we are set to go. I have to say that 
this is pretty slick and compared to vortex box i would uh give this the edge right at the moment especially considering that vortex box is even in the newest beta version is only based on fedora 25 and I don't think I've ever seen the interface for Vortex Box be this fluid, especially in the VM. This is just, wow, this is slick. I would actually like to see what I could do with this with a USB DAC and uh, running it uh, going into my stereo system. That'll be, that'll be the acid test. Um, just to look at their website here real quick, digital music convenience for audio files, that's the heart of your digital music system, enables best possible audio quality and future proof flexibility by providing plug and play support for USB connected digital to audio converters. You can easily set up a multi-zone system just by connecting another DAC for each zone. Software solutions optimized for best possible audio file experience. So yeah, this is pretty slick and I will be doing some testing and hopefully installing this on some real hardware here before too much longer and I will report back. On that note, this is Jeremy signing out for Practical IT. This has been a review of DAF file, an audio file Linux distribution. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon for notifications. Also, feel free to leave comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.